Hi again, this is Kay Debate making the second part of my uh, introduction video uh, describing me and what I'm about so you can get perspective on what I'm, what I'm doing uh, and how I'm doing it. Uh, okay, I ended the last one explaining a little bit about my, my religious affiliations and my uh, learning disability as, a, as an adult, uh, sorry, as a child, uh, my dyslexia. I'm going to be talking more about, you know, because I didn't actually explain my religious affiliations, just my religious past. Uh, I'll be explaining what I believe. Uh, this isn't to say, you know, that mine is better or anything like that. Never, ever, ever, ever think that. Because I'll never, ever say that, and I'll never believe it if I accidentally say it. Because sometimes people say weird questions and I answer them wrong. Uh, or at least get misinterpreted. So, my religious affiliation is, it's not atheist. It's not Christian, it's not, you know, Judaism or uh, Hinduism, it's, it's, not, it's none of those. I take small parts of each religion that make sense and I integrate them into my moral system. Uh, I like the idea of, let's see, what's a good one? Uh, the Ten Commandments. They're kind of nice, uh, really. Um, you know, don't steal stuff, don't kill people, um, don't, you know, don't covet your neighbor's wife. Uh, you know, simple things, things that work. Uh, if, if your life is better because of these, then follow them. I mean, I don't mean like follow this rule that you should take everything and be a jerk because it makes your life better. No, no, no. I, I mean morally uh, happy. Um, Things, things that make society work, uh, things that, that are, are um, positive in a large group. I mean, if you're on your own, on like on a desert island, but you have everything you need, go nuts. I don't care. You're not going to hurt anybody. But in a society, if you personally, the golden rule, if you personally believe that you can kill whoever you want and, get, and not care, put yourself in the shoes of the person you're going to kill. Do you want some random guy on the street to shoot you in the face because he can? It doesn't work. If everyone did that, there'd be a lot of dead people. A lot of them. And, you know, the only people that would be alive have, would have the biggest guns or the most skill in using them. So, in society, it wouldn't work. It would just mean everyone's dead. Um, so the golden rule, do unto others as you would like to be done unto you. Um, there is a small there's a small amendment to uh, sadomasochism, but <clears throat> just just as a joke mostly. But if it makes society better, the rule seem should probably be a good one to to, to, to at least um, to at least look at um, things like um, what's a good one? Um, you know, don't beat your kids. I mean, not inappropriately. I was spanked as a child. It didn't. It seemed to work. It seemed to work uh, because that was the only thing that you know I listened to. But you, know, you don't take out your belt and whip them across the face. You don't give them a black eye. You don't you know break their arm. You don't do things like that because that causes major trauma, either physical problems or mental problems with trust and such. Uh, don't rape people. Uh, don't judge people harshly. Um, there's just a lot of rules that when you follow as a society will make society better. Uh, I'm not saying that all the rules are better uh, because certain societies have different you know regulations and rules and stuff but uh, I'm digressing again. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. Uh, here I'll, I'll just I'll just step back and say that my religious beliefs are the ones that work best for me. Uh, they work with my personality, they work with my lifestyle, they work with what I feel society should be. That, that's the best way I can explain. Um, so my religion is a bunch. It's a bunch of things. Uh, it's things like, uh, I like the Ten Commandments. I like uh, a lot of the things in uh, Buddhism and Hinduism about inner peace, uh, perfecting one's one's life through um, inner, uh, in, inner um, not analysis, I like to call it analysis, but it's, it's inner understanding. 
uh, it's finding your center. I like those kinds of things because be I'm also bipolar. I'm dyslexic and bipolar, so my, my moods shift a lot. And I needed that in my life. I needed some form of regulation that wasn't medicine and you know heavy drugs. It was more like self-therapy. But doing that a lot, uh, I learned how to, to help others by thinking rationally. Uh, so not only did it did it help me, it helped me help others. Um, things like rational thought, uh, self-analysis, um, understanding why I do things, understanding why I think things, avoiding you know mental uh, loops, circular logic, uh, figuring out why things affect me. Uh, all of those were you know kind of like finding my center. Uh, it's not really a religious thing, but it's strongly, you know, taught in certain religions. Uh, you know, um, Zen, uh, Qi, um, you know, it's practiced in a lot of martial arts because it helps you stay calm, it helps you stay stable. And stability is something that I've always strived for, you know, kind of a positive stability. I don't mean like, de dead is stable. Not having a job is, for five years is stable, but it doesn't mean it's good. I like stability where I'm comfortable. And while that might lead to sloth, laziness, uh, I still feel that I would rather be stable in, you know, kind of a, an iffy place than up here and then down here and then over here and then over here. I don't like that. It makes my head really messed up emotionally and physically. I get sick. Uh, if, if I have something that's really happy and it boosts me up really high but then something crippling happens and then I'm depressed for a long time and then I can't find a center and I can't I can't make goals I can't figure out what I want later in life because my emotions are all over the place I'm not regulated and well a lot of people say well be happy all the time and I love that I, lo I like being happy but when I'm really really happy I make stupid choices <laughs> I can't think. I can't think past certain things. I trust people a lot when I'm really happy, and I'll lend them money, and I'll I'll do stuff for them, and then they'll stab me in the back. Uh, not always. Uh, I recently lent somebody four hundred dollars because I was really, really, really in a good place, you know, financially and emotionally, and they they, they took off. They they never came back. Uh, I don't know where they are. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're coming back, but. They had the money and they just left. Uh, that was very emotionally damaging. I was really in a good mood. They had, they said they were in trouble, so I lent them some money and they gone. They're gone. So I make stupid choices when I'm really happy. I'm not saying lending money is bad, but I didn't really look into it very much. I didn't make him sign anything. Uh, I usually would, uh, even with friends. He wasn't one of my close friends, and now I don't even know where he is. So it was a lot of money. It was almost five hundred dollars. So it was it was stupid of me. Uh, that's why I like stability. I like to be able to know where I am so I can make you know rational choices. Uh, that's another thing that I, I do. I like to be rational. I like to be logical. If somebody's being illogical, it causes me stress. So when I start talking about people that are being you know you know stupid, I mean that they're not using reason. And so far, there's only a few people that I let in my life, excuse me, that I let in my life that do that. Uh, one is my roommate. Uh, another one was my family. Uh, I've, I've uh, hints, since then um, left. I moved out. Um, and I don't talk to uh, most of the people in my family anymore because they just use bad reasoning and it really caused me stress. Um, past co-workers which I, I, I was uh, uh, in a job that they would tell me what to do and when I asked them about it it's like no we don't have to explain it to you and it turns out it was wrong messed me up and uh, it, it's caused problems uh, I like logic I like logic a lot it keeps me stable it keeps me knowing where I'm going uh, so I use I use that in a lot of debates 
uh, I don't get as passionate as some people uh, in debates. I do get, I do really, really, really enjoy talking about things. Uh, no, it's not because I like the sound of my own voice. No, it's not because I have a big ego and I want everyone to believe me as opposed to other people. No, I, I like to talk about things because I like to make other people understand things. Because I feel that understanding is really, really good. It's just positive in every way. Unless somebody's emotionally unstable and you tell them that the dog actually is dead and didn't run away. No, I don't like doing that. Uh, it's probably for the best later on, because then the hope doesn't get crushed later, but it's really difficult to, you know, define when you should be emotionally uh, there without being too logical. I always go to logic, though. When, whenever I'm emotionally distraught, I become very, very logical. And uh, so my friends know this. I've explained this to them. Uh, do not come to me with an issue and not expect me to try to help. So if you're going to start ranting about something, you know, my friends know this. Oh, I've had the worst day, blah, 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 blah. And then I'll say, well, come on, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And they're like, no, 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 I just wanted to tell you. Well, then I say, well, why did you tell me if you don't want help? That's what I do is I try to help. And then they get distraught because I'm invading in their privacy and, uh, then I say, well, that's what I do, and then I make an offhand joke. Uh, when, when situations get really serious, like really, 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 you know, serious, I tell jokes. And I explain this to my friends. I'm going to tell a joke. It's a very serious situation. You may not like the joke, but I'm going to tell you a joke anyway. Usually, it's a stupid joke. So, watch out. And they understand. My, my close, close friends understand that that's what I do because I get nervous and I tell jokes when I'm nervous. I'm trying to lighten the mood because that's, uh, it, when things get too serious, it starts messing me up. So I tell a joke to start doing that. And that's one of my regulations. That's one of the things I do. Uh, and that's the reason why I do it. So I'll make jokes in my videos when I feel I'm being too serious. Uh, they're rare, but I do them. And uh, let's see what else, what else, what else. Uh, I'm not a great cook. I can cook, but I don't like to very much. I mean, no, that's not correct. I do like to cook certain things. Uh, but generally, I'll buy a thing of hamburger meat, like, you know, three to ten pounds or whatever, and I'll just take a chunk out of it out, put it on the stove, make a hamburger, and eat it for lunch. You know, I'll put other things on it, mayonnaise, tomatoes, lettuce, all those nice things. But... You know, that, that's that's fancy to me, uh, uh, a chunk of meat on a burger. I, I'm also a very carnivorous person. Uh, I used to be a vegetarian because I believed that hurting animals was wrong. I almost died because of my diet. Uh, I really did. I got very, very, very sick. and Nobody realized that I wasn't eating meat for a long time. And uh, then they found out, well, your protein levels are, you know, ex they're non-existent. They're, they're so low that your, you know, your body is, is really, 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 really messed up. And then, you know, I started eating meat again, and I felt bad about it at first, and then I realized, well, until I get, you know, maybe I'll just go for animal rights. Uh, not rights, but, you know, human, humane, humane treatment of animals. So that's what I do. I like, I like the humane treatment of animals. I don't like people that, you know, do cockfighting or dogfighting or, you know, things that they're, they're using their power to harm things for their own enjoyment, and I don't like that. Uh, a couple of other things I don't like, uh, there's only going to be another video, minute on the video, so I'm going to be uh, brief. I do not like hypocrisy, I do not like liars, I do not like thieves, I do not like uh, people that harm others, uh, I do not like people that purposely do not work. Uh, you know, uh, you, you've all seen them at work, they'll pretend to work really hard and never get anything done and that that caused that that for some reason i don't know why causes me massive amounts of stress uh, i've worked with several in the past and i i've quit jobs because my managers are like work as hard as this guy and they'll point out a guy that's not doing anything and you know i'll try to i'll try to you know help him with something he's like no nah, no nah, i'm on break i'm on break I was like, wait, you were pretending to work this whole time. I was like, yeah, yeah, you can do it too. And I was like, no, I can't do that. So anyway, it's almost at 15 minutes. So um, I guess I'm going to have to make another video. So three. Uh, take care, guys. Have a nice day.